let's use Kramer's method to solve uh, the system of linear equation or simultaneous equation. Now Kramer, uh, as I discussed in the last video, was a Swiss mathematician and he gave us this formula. So Kramer's rule is like this. If you want to find x, you find the determinant of x, that is dx over d, and y is dy over d. The, they are determinants, so the determinant d is the determinant of the coefficient of x and y. So you write, just write 4, 2, 1, 3. And write the find the determinant, what you do is you cross multiply and take away. So multiply this two and take away this product. So this is four times three is twelve minus two times one is two. So the determinant is ten. Okay, dx is uh, you don't write the coefficient of x, you write the coefficient of y in the place of y. So you write 1, 3 like this. And in place of the coefficient of x, you write the constant, which is 15, comma, 15, 20. And do the same process. So 15 times 3 is 45, minus 20. 45 minus 20 is 25. OK, and finally, dy. This is a very useful method when you have to have some very untidy answers. Here the answers would be tidy because I worked the answers already out. So for dy, you write the coefficients of x, so that is 4 and 2. You don't write the coefficient of y, but you write the constant in place of that. So 15, 15 20. And then you cross multiply and take away. So first, always this. 4 times 20 is 80 minus 30, which is 50. Okay, so let's use the formula. So let's uh, let's use the formula. So what does it say? Let's write the formula again. So formula says x is dx over d, the determinant of x over the determinant. So what is dx? dx is 25 over 10, which is 2.5. Okay, and y is dy over d. What is dy? Your dy is 50 over 10 is equal to 5. So you can say the solution is 2.5, or 2.5 and 5 is a solution of this system of equation. That means if you put this in both the equation, it is satisfied. So, uh, let me copy and paste this. So, uh, let me cut it from here, and we know the solution is here. So, let's check the answer. So, let's paste it here. So, this is the answer. So, if you put it, if you put this here, so what are we saying? When x is 2.5, y is 4. So 4 times 2.5 is 10, okay, plus y is 5, which is 15. So equation 1 is satisfied. So let's put it here. 2 times 2.5, which is 5, plus 3 times 5 is 15, is equal to 20. So what is this system of equation telling me? That this is the only value which satisfy both these equations. I'm going to make a number of videos on Kramer's method to even solve uh, three and 